he shot in the chest. Investigators and neighbors uh, described Sachi as a ticking bomb. I knew that he was uh, mentally unstable. I guess they, people use the word psycho. You know, I think he really needed help because he was kind of confused. Police say Sachi had recently separated from his wife and was wanted for stalking her. In published reports, she described Sachi as unstable and claims he had been that way since he started taking Prozac. Neighbors can only speculate that Sachi's impending jail term may have driven him over the edge. He probably just couldn't handle it, but he went around it the wrong way. I mean, if you're going to kill somebody, kill yourself. You don't take everybody with you. Yeah. One thing is for sure, Sachi was armed and dangerous. Police found a cache of weapons inside 17 Morgan Street, the scene behind me, which we are not being allowed to get close to. The cache included six rifles. Now, what's interesting is that even though Sachi was a hunter, in Westchester County, you are not required to register rifles with police, no matter how many you have. As for the small town of East Chester, a town of just 30,000, residents remain shocked and grief-stricken, especially over the loss of Officer Michael Frey. And my colleague Michael Hill has that part of the story. Michael? Paul, law enforcement across the nation, and certainly the town of East Chester, are mourning today, mourning the murder of Officer Michael Frey. The flag outside the town hall here in East Chester is at half staff, and this is a memorial to the fallen officer, the first one killed in the line of duty here. His widow's family says everybody loved Mike. His dedication to helping others will be sorely missed. In his younger days, Officer Michael Frey was an altar boy at the Immaculate Conception Church. The same reverend who performed Officer Frey's wedding ceremony in October 1994 read him his last rites on Thursday. And, uh, we were looking forward to having his first baby. That hasn't come yet, now it'll never come. The family of Frey's widow issued a statement saying it was distraught over this heinous act. This is a tragedy that never should have happened. This killer never should have been out on furlough, and there is no justification for the arsenal he possessed. Frey was a New York City transit officer, but spent the past five years with East Chester police. I was speaking to him at 11 o'clock yesterday morning in my office. Uh, I, all I can say is he was one of our best officers. Did one hell of a job. Frey was a regular at the East Chester Odyssey restaurant. His usual order, pancakes with chocolate chips, a cup of coffee, and a cup of kindness. Very tremendous loss. It's really terrible. Tentative funeral plans are for Monday morning at 10 o'clock at the Immaculate Conception Church in Tuckahoe. Mary, Barry. Okay, Michael, thank you very much. 26-year-old gunman Richard Satchi had planned to kill himself. He did it, but only after killing his dog, his grandmother, and 29-year-old East Chester police officer Michael Frey. Officer Frey was one of our best officers. Uh, he, he had uh, come to us after serving three years in New York City Transit. And he was well experienced and he was a good street cop. Around 3 o'clock Thursday afternoon, Sachi called police non-emergency. There's, there's a suspicious person in front of 17 Morgan Street, which is his residence. Uh, please send some help. Minutes later, Officer Frey responds. Sachi fired a hail of bullets into Frey's patrol car and killed him immediately. Was it an ambush? It, it appears that way at this point, yes. Sachi fired at and grazed Officer John Morrissey's head. Police say by 4 o'clock Thursday, Sachi had shot and killed himself. Inside his house, six long legal hunting guns, plenty of ammunition, and a pencil scribbled suicidal note on the wall. There was uh, writings on the wall written in pencil, handwriting. Uh, one was uh, 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 said something to the effect, uh, my dad is the best uh, dad in the world. Another uh, writing on the other wall had something about uh, uh, Jesus, forgive me for my sins. Uh, I will see you in eternity. Reverend Patrick Walsh performed Officer Frey's wedding ceremony 18 months ago. Thursday, he read him his last rites. Uh, we were looking forward to having his first baby. But that hasn't come yet. Now it'll never come. A lot of people who came in contact with Officer Frey simply are in shock tonight. They still can't believe that more than 24 hours ago, the gunman took his life. Uh, New York City police played a major role in making sure that the scene was secured here and getting the gunman out. Eventually, the gunman, as we said, killed himself. Sue, that is the latest here from East Chester. All right, Michael Hill, thank you. In the last 24 hours, one question has been asked over and over. What drove this man to such terror? Tonight, we do know more about the gunman. Police and neighbors are saying that Richard Saatchi was a ticking time bomb. Paul Moniz continues our team coverage. Everyone knew that he was uh, mentally unstable. I guess they, people use the word psycho or psychopath. He used to like, chase his brother down the you know, road in a go-kart and stuff, you know, trying to run him over and stuff. He's just crazy. 
a loose cannon. That's how neighbors describe former nurse's aide Richard Saatchi, though no one imagined his antics would come to this. I can't believe he would shoot his grandma. Like The deaths of 87-year-old Catherine Saatchi, hero cop Michael Frey, and Saatchi himself have turned quiet East Chester upside down. Outside Saatchi's home, neighbors gathered in disbelief, one offering a candle for the victims. According to police, lengthy turmoil in Saatchi's life may have led to the bloodshed. They describe the 26-year-old as troubled, with frequent brushes with the law that began in his teens. Assaults, assault with a knife, uh, uh, taking a car, uh, menacing, uh, similar kinds of crimes that he was convicted of as an adult. But some believe Saatchi's most recent charge of stalking his estranged wife may have driven him over the edge. He was supposed to surrender today. Denise Saatchi says her four-year marriage hit the skids when her husband started taking Prozac. His whole demeanor, his, the way he looked, he, gave, he was like holding everything inside. No one knows for sure just what made Saatchi snap, but neighbors say taking it out on others is an act of cowardice.